Hey, hi, hello, how are you? I am back today with my Believe-a-thon TBR. I wanted to get this up early because of people being stuck at home, they really wanted to move it up. I am still going to do it during the original scheduled time, which is in May. Dates are May 11th through May 24th. You are definitely welcome to do it early if you're at home and you're not doing the owls. You can totally do it during April. I would just have way too much on my plate to do both. I am so excited. I love to believe it's on round one. It introduced me to middle grade in a whole new way. And I have been obsessed ever since. I love Gavin. I think he does amazing things. And I'm so excited. So you can either buy this compendium off of Amazon. Or you can actually download it and print it yourself. Or, you know, just keep a copy on your phone, whatever works best for you. I definitely had to get the hard copy because it is so darn cute. So the copy has like a, some entry from Gavin, a map he's created. I'll put it up so that you can see it better. And then it's actually like a choose your old adventure. Um, so I'm gonna link Gavin's video below and you can go and check out and get all the details on that. But so today I wanted to talk through my TBR. So essentially there is a whole story with the compendium. I have not read it because I want to save it for the believe -thon and experience it as I'm going through. The first prompt, the prompts are kind of highlighted in um, bold letters, darker bold letters. So I was able to plan my TBR without ruining the story. So the first part is you start at the Poacher's Pocket Inn and you need to read the first book in a series. So I chose The Strangers, which I believe was on a list from Gavin. Um, it's Greystone, yeah, the Greystone Secrets series number one. I don't really know anything about it. I loved the cover art and if Gavin suggests it, I'm 90% sure I'm going to love it. So I just went with that one for my first pick. So going on from there, you could either choose to go to the Yellow Brick Road or Baba Yaga's house or the Wonderfalls. And there is kind of a, a genie situation where you can read just two books for the whole uh, believe it on if you don't have time to do every single prompt. So there is there's ways to kind of go around going through every prompt, but I'm, I definitely wanted to experience, experience it as Gavin created it. So, and I have time to read them. So I chose to go to Baba Yaga's house. And Baba Yaga's house is a book featuring a family relationship. I, so I chose The Land of Roar. This one has been on my TBR since last Believe With On, and I was like, I've got to get to it at this point. So I'm super excited to get that one in. I do believe the second one is coming out soon or out by the time the Believe With On comes. Like, very close to it. So excited about that. From Baba Yaga's house, I could go to the Hundred Acre Wood, the Deep Woods, or the Mermaid's Lagoon. So I chose to go to the Hundred Acre Woods. And for that one, I'm reading a book with yellow on the cover. So I chose Pages and Co., which is the first book in that silly, silly, the first book in that series. And it's Tilly and the Book Wonders. I'm super excited. They're definitely another one that Gavin had suggested. Has the cutest cover. So, so excited for that. From the Hundred Acre Wood, you could go on the Brawley Rail or Orion Found. And I decided to go to Orion Found and read a science fiction book. And chose Orion Lost. Because I have not yet read Orion Lost. And made sense to like understand each of the places in the book right so I don't really know again much about any of these because I really like to go in pretty clueless so I'm not spoiled I, I don't normally read synopsis I listen to youtubers and then like they like it you know and they're normally giving me a synopsis enough that I'm like oh yeah that sounds good but I don't remember everything by the time I come to pulling it off of my TBR to actually read it so it does talk about where each of the books come from, or like where each of the uh, places on the map come from. So Orion Lost is one of the only ones I hadn't read, so it, it fit in well. And then finally, so the last part of the 
series is to get to the stronghold which is from Frostheart and I found that through the group book last year and so much love for that book. I do actually have a list of uh, middle grades I love so if you want to see that I'll um, link it up in the cards for you. So the last book I'm going to read is the next book in a series. So I'm going to pick up the second book in the Amelia Fang series that I also found through Gavin. Loved Amelia. She was so dang cute. Her and her best friend the Yeti and the best friend the Scythe and her pumpkin. Ugh. I just figured it was the best way to end May. Hopefully start getting us ready for summer and good adventures. So I'm super excited for that. I maybe. We're going to have a really fun couple months coming up between the Owls and the believe Fun and summer coming. So just so excited for this. If you guys can get in on it, it's a great time. Tell your teacher friends about it. If you have kids that are this age, tell your kids to read like this, um, to join in. It is so much fun for all ages. So definitely get involved. Really, really love it. So excited for it. If you are planning on joining in, I would love to know down below if you're reading any of these books and want to buddy read, definitely shoot me a message. And if you like this video, please give it a like. And I would love if you would subscribe and join our little Ravenclaw family, even if you're not a Ravenclaw because everybody's invited. Catch you next time.